One of the things that Trish and I really enjoyed is asking everybody here, because it's such a great community, what their favorite RV tool has been. Hey, how's it going over here? Good. All right, so I'm going around, I'm asking everybody in the RV park what their favorite RV tool is, like the one thing that they bring with them that just helps the most. The most? Yeah. Well, I picked this little thing up in Mexico here. All right, let's see. Here, let's... Oh! Hello. <laughs> I'm expecting a question or two at the border, but I think after they talk to them for a minute, we'll get waved through. Yeah. We're gonna have watermelon, mm -hmm. and then you squeeze lime all over it, and then they put chili on top. Mm. It's so good. Okay, the market here at La Panita is like none other. It is so neat. And they say that you can tell the stature of a town by the quality of the market. And I have to tell you, come to this market anytime early in the morning up until about one o'clock when they start packing things up and you're gonna find all kinds of Mexican amazingness. But if you're a real trooper, you need to go to the outskirts because that's where you're gonna find the real stuff. The stuff for your house, the things you need, the plasticware, the dishes, everything. But inside is more of the gifts, the things you wanna bring home. It's absolutely a total must-do great experience. Gracias. I'm gonna miss having the ability to just walk 50 feet to go get another cup of coffee if you so desire for a dollar fifty. There are a lot of things I'm gonna miss as a matter of fact. now 24 hours less than our departure. Martine is over to wash the trailer, shampoo the carpets, and clean the truck. Uh, we're also using this as an opportunity to get organized with all of our bins. We've been cleaning up for the past week or so. We've been cleaning things up. We've been throwing things away. Uh, Trish sent all the laundry in today, so by the time we leave tomorrow morning, we will have all fresh laundry, a clean truck, a clean trailer, shampooed carpets, 
I, of course, as you know, I, well, hopefully you know by now that I did all the work on the, on the wheels, on the leaf spring hangers. We replaced the shackles with wet bolts. It's aligned. We fixed the end cap. We resealed the front end. Ginger got a makeover. How fewer things you have, the more you travel. I mean, look at the back of my truck now. These two gallons of water we don't normally carry, but we have in Mexico, just so that we've got plenty of water. And then the gas tanks I don't normally travel with either, either but it seems like it's a good idea to carry 10 extra gallons in Mexico, just in case something were to happen. And then I got the small little generator here, some spare tools back there, and then the wagon. And then I got a, I got a gray, I got a gray container for the sewer stuff. So just every, I'd say every month we just keep thinning out, right? If we don't use it, we don't want to haul it around. Mm -hmm. See? See? What are some things that you've gotten rid of? Mucho. <laughs> nada. Mucho nada. Mucho nada. Sad that we're leaving. Really? Happy to go home. <laughs> Day before departure, and here's what we have going on. As you know, everything is completely clean. We're going into town to get some things for the ride home. We're gonna have three nights, four days, leaving La Pinita, first night Mazatlan, second night Los Mochis, third night in San Carlos, and then back. Oh, wow. But things on Trisha's list include? Plastic plates, plastic cups, peanut butter, white bread, water bottles, and paper towels. So and much more. <laughs> so much more, Bob. Okay, so we have that going on. I'm, I want to get a square milk carton to hold the propane tank. We're also discussing how much cash we need to get back. We've got 2,000 pesos on us right now. We're thinking about getting another 5,000 pesos. So that's 7,000 pesos. Half of that's $350. I think that'll cover the tolls. I'm going to get gas on my cards. But just in case the card doesn't go through, at least we have pesos. So wish the gas stations in the States were as efficient as the gas stations here. You can get air, water, everything you need right here. They've got a machine where you literally put it in and fill it up. In the States, I think everybody knows how hard it is to find air. There's a VW. Uh, car show in Guayabitos today. They're everywhere. Okay, this is our last night. And Trish and Tori were nowhere to be found. I heard they were down at the beach. It's a reasonable place to be on your, on your last night. And it looks like for the first time today, the sun has peaked out. What are you guys doing? We're enjoying our last day on the beach. Final Mexico remarks? It was a blast. We did a lot, yet I feel like we have so much more to do. I feel like we have to go visit Maddie. Oh, wow. When are we gonna do that, tonight? I guess. And um, we're gonna go have a nice dinner because we are not eating another taco. <laughs> I will not have another taco for a very long time. Or a rotisserie chicken, my favorite. I have literally finally in eight weeks, nine, ten weeks, I've finally gotten tired of rotisserie chicken. <laughs> oh, she says, salsa? No, thank you. <laughs> Please, no more. A lot of comments about the Rainbow Bridge and out of all the videos that we've done, the video about Maddie was really like the most special. The comments that we got, we really appreciate all the comments. We read every one of them. We appreciate everybody's support. And we're so grateful that Maddie was able to spend this much time with us. And we're also really grateful that you guys got to know her because I think it's really cool. It's 16 years old. It's amazing she even lived this long to even come on this trip and make it two seasons. At least Maddie gets to stay at a special place and then when we come back to Puerto Vallarta then we get to we get to visit Maddie and we get to think of her here so I think it's that's kind of cool. Man, it feels so good to have this thing buttoned up and cleaned and fixed and 
organized and everything put back for travel days. I think that's probably one of the things I love most about travel days is that everything goes back to its place. I know it's a little OCD, but it's just kind of good to know that goes here, this goes there, this goes there. Back with the caravan. Basically there's four of us, but Ron and Kathleen and Bob and Yedwiga are headed to Stone Island. So then there'll just be two of us in San Carlos. But tonight, Mazatlan. Is this the lap, the lap of luxury? I'm not joking, where are the seatbelts? Or there are seatbelts. Huh, is this where you want to ride? No, I'm not joking, I'll bring my computer right here. And oh I'll play, yeah. I'll play classic on turn on the couch. As, as long as you don't talk too much. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Have you met him? This is so scary watching people pass an RV around a blind corner. It's crazy. With a solid line, they have no like indication that it's safe. That's right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Anyway, what do you guys think of the new camera setup? We got it flipped around. Trish worked on this. The camera. We, we got the All GoPro set session camera mount, Matt? the suction to the windshield, so that it can look back and then we can flip it around and then look forward. sitting in a chair, you're at the table, you're cruising along, and you're on air ride. Yeah, it's like a cloud. Yeah, they're cloud. They're suspension. Oh my gosh. All right, that's it. I'm getting one. I'm getting one. Really? had any fruit? I said, no. Nada. He goes, nada? I said, nada. He goes, candy? Can I have another piece of that gumdrop candy? <laughs> or did we eat those already? We ate those already. We Dang it. Already. Seems like yesterday that we were coming into Mazatlan. And here we are again. Mm -hmm. And the crazy thing is, when we were coming in here the last time, we were like three days into Mexico. <laughs> and now, I mean, we just have so much more knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. It's just funny. I love the feeling of being outside of your comfort zone because it's like new and you just kind of have that that awareness of everything that's going on. You're taking it all in. Like the first time we had the chicken, we're like, ah, oh, this is the best chicken we've ever had in our life. Chicos, Sinar. There's so many Canadians in Mexico that when the curling finals are on, all the TVs have curling, all the dinner all the there's like 300 dinner reservations at this amazing place that they're cooking ribs on the street. Well, those ribs were good. <laughs> what? In the beginning of the road trip, everything is beautiful, well planned out. We have plenty of cash. Now I have disgusting oatmeal. Look, it doesn't even come off the thing. I have my coffee, some water, peanut butter, jelly sandwiches, breakfast in a flash for the boys, and of course, my Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> Let's go. Sending and receiving. 
receiving and sending. <laughs> That's how it goes, folks. We navigated through Mazalan with the trailer. One more crazy adventure <laughs> with the RV. So now the destination, we've got Los, Los Mochos, the beautiful Pemex Resort yes. in Los Mochos. Like that semi back? This is blue. See. Si. All right. Okay. Okay. Can we give you money. That's it. That's it. We're in the parking lot in the middle of Mexico. Literally. <laughs> Los Mochis. Welcome. But we're seeing it at Pemex. So in the States, you would call it a Walmart overnight. Here you find a Pemex. There's usually a gated area. You pay the security guard a little something. And then they bring you in here with either the semi trucks, whomever needs a stop along the way. So we're gonna stay here. We got here nice and early so that just in case anything happened on the road, we had time to get it all figured out. We're here by, I don't know, what is it? 3.30, 3.20. And um, we're gonna make some dinner, chill out, and be out early tomorrow morning. Traveling with uh, Bob and Linda. And we've set up our rigs here like this. And Bob and Linda, have rescued two puppies. Look at this. Oh, we've got our puppy fever. This is Tech. This is Tech. And this is Keela. 